What is up guys? Day seven from the seven day thrifting challenge where I hit up Goodwill seven days in a row to see if it could still be profitable and if we could still make money buying and selling that stuff on eBay and Amazon. So let's go for the final day. We're gonna hop in the car over here and see what kind of money we can make. In the car, we have a little bit of a drive. It's not too bad. We should be there pretty soon. I'm excited. It's the last day, guys, and Saturday was not the best day. We all saw that. We all saw that I wasn't able to get very many things. I got two things, right? That's not good. But today is going to be much better. I have a feeling Sundays are half off days in Connecticut, which means that Every item that is a certain color, I believe it's red this week, is going to be 50% off. So things that were previously priced too high are now gonna be within that buying range. So hopefully we can find some solid things. Let's go. All right, we are here at the Gucci Will. Oh, I just sold something. Wow, that was perfect timing. Oh yeah, Zumba. What did Zumba sell for? $9.50. Now, that might seem low, and it is low, but it came in a big bundle, this box of Zumba stuff. I got two different DVD sets and these shake weight type things, all together for about 10 bucks. So I sold this one for $9.50. I sold another one for, I think it was $17, and I'm still waiting for the little shake weights to sell. So, you know, I'm gonna dump my money on it. It's kind of a pain when you have to break things apart, but hey, money's money. Let's go make some more. All right. We got we got some Sony headphones. They're open. Oh, we got a GBA. You don't see GBAs very often. Hey, ten bucks. It's actually not bad. I think I might. I think I might grab that. There's a brand new polo tie for ten dollars. That's too much. The PS4 game down there, King's Quest. That game is on clearance at Target right now, so that must be a Target pickup. Um. It's about all that's in there. But remember, red is 50% off. See that? 50% off. Electronics. What do we got? What do we got? Everything is looking the same. Everything is looking the exact same. So... That's a shame, but actually, that's just a Samsung DVD player. Nothing good, nothing good. I think that was from yesterday also. Oh, this is, it looks like it's missing a character. Oh, the game of life. Oh, this is, this is cool. New York Life Edition. This looks like a specialty game. Might be worth some money. It's brand new, so why not? Just because it's specialty. The regular game of life isn't worth much. At five bucks, I'd probably buy it for myself though. Just because I've been looking for life, but I'm sure that's worth some money. That's a little owl. All right, well, no games besides that. Hey, it's brand new, I'll take it. Uh, the Wicker Isle, you guys know I don't like the Wicker Isle. Oh, we got some new, we got one new bin. Oh no, we got two. So, take a look. Look at this scary baby doll. Oh my gosh, I hate these ones. Look at that. He's asleep. He's awake. Oh my gosh, he's got the twitchy eye. All right, he stays in there. Uh, oh, four bucks for all these cool little things. Ah, I'm not seeing anything in here. Nothing good. What is that? Is that Tommy Pickles? It is. What a cutie. All right, what do we got over here? Paintings that. Hello. Hi. Nothing. All right. There's a trampoline. So I'm not really seeing anything. Nate Burkus. All right. Not seeing anything. Now, if you ever see anything with Nate Burkus on it, like what I just said, Nate Burkus, he is a Target designer, so it's from Target. Okay, trying to get around all this. Ooh, I kind of like that picture. All right. Oh, I like that one also. That's really cool. Let's see. Let's wiggle our way through here. Uh, oh, a 
I'm having a hard time, guys. I'm feeling better, as you can tell. Uh, I still feel pretty sick, but I'm more in higher spirits. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm knocking everything over. Better, much better. All right, what do we got, what do we got? I'm not seeing anything. All right, guys, blank media. Come on, where's the blank media at? You know what, I feel like this whole week we haven't found a single blank media, which is weird, because normally I find at least, well, I felt like I used to find one a day. Now, I always heard that once you collect the entire series of the Harry Potter books, they're worth some good money, but this is only a buck fifty, so I think I'll grab it, because it's hardcover. So, maybe there's more of them here, and at a buck fifty a piece, right, that's not bad. So we'll look around for that, but I don't see any blank media in here at all. So let's see if there's any more of those Harry Potter books. I don't see anything. I feel like the books here are pretty high priced, two and three dollars. Like the majority of them are three bucks. That seems pretty high for a book at a Goodwill. Maybe that's just me. All right, so that's, that becomes all nonfiction over there, so I don't think there'd be any Harry Potter, but I found one for $1.50. I think that's a good buy, guys. What do you think? I think it's a good buy. Let's go check out the video games and stuff. All right, so no video games, sadly, but we're gonna go back and check out these middle aisles that I usually skip through and just take another look through here. I always like taking second looks. If this is still here when it's six bucks is when I'll pick that up. But for 12 bucks, that Polaroid is crazy. Let's see what we got. I don't know, not seeing anything. There's some tennis rackets. Ooh, that's really light. All right guys, the random aisles paid off. I found this Wilton cake pan for a dollar, Barney. He's going for about 15. And then I found this ortho dial in spray. Yeah, it's technically new because it has the stuff in there, but I have to sell it as used because it's missing the box. There's none used on Amazon, but it has a really good rank of around 28,000 in lawn and garden, which means it'll sell pretty fast. It's $3. All the new ones are going for 45 with none used, and I can sell it used. So I think I'll just do like 40 bucks, undercut by $4, and just say, you know, without the box in the description, things like that. So that's pretty good. This does not have an, uh, or this does have an Amazon listing, but not by barcode so I had to type in game of life New York and then it popped up there's only one listed used on there for uh, 30 or 40 dollars and the rank is 550,000 so once mine goes in new uh, Amazon Prime I think I'll definitely get close to you know 60 70 bucks especially with Christmas coming then I found a keyboard down here it's a light up gaming keyboard I found them on Amazon, but none uh, with zero available. Has a rank of 13,000 in PC, which is pretty high. Uh, on eBay, I couldn't find a single one, so I don't know what to do about that yet. We'll check out some clothing. I really don't want to buy clothing, but a lot of it's going to be half off right now because it's red. So here's this Orvis. Oh, that's not half off. I wouldn't pick it up anyways. Orvis is a really slow mover for me. So all these Ralph Lauren were originally $10, $10 originally. So they're five bucks each, which, you know, I mean, they're really nice. They're, they were all dry cleaned right before they got brought here. Classic fit, and they're all the same size. So, you know, five, 10, 15, uh, these ones, these three. So 15 bucks, you could lot them up, but still, that's yeah. way too much. If they were, you know, a buck or two, I'd pick them up, maybe. Uh, I have a few, few uh, Ralph Lauren shirts like this classic fits that I picked up for a dollar a piece from a local thrift store and I still have the majority of them listed I think I've only sold two out of the ten this right here this is Bugatti Uomo this uh, $15 it was half off yesterday at 750 brand new with tags originally 95 but I didn't pick it up just because the sell-through didn't look good at 750 I think I still think that's too much and it's gonna sit here until it doesn't sell I feel because it's been here for over a month and it's just gonna get sent to the bins and somebody will buy it for 50 cents. I'd pick this up for 50 cents, why not, right? Uh, not really seeing anything else too good. I'm waiting for this to go on sale. This, for myself, 
It's yellow, which I think it'll go on sale next week. It's a Pendleton. Pendleton does good when it's wool, but this is 100% cotton. It's, it's a medium, so it's my size, but it, it I don't think it's gonna sell. You know, it's $5, that's the going rate. You can see right there, $4.99 for long sleeves, $6 for sweaters, $5 for t-shirts. Oh, uh, $4 for t-shirts, sorry. This is still long sleeve. Um, but that's just, you know, that's the going rate. $5 is, it's not a bad price when you're looking at long sleeve shirts. And $4 isn't a bad price for t-shirts. It's a little high, but that's why you come on half off days. Try and get things at two bucks and 250. This is great. I get a message from Tim over on Facebook telling me he found the Grey's Anatomy board game because of my last video. Thanks to you guys in the comments letting me know that it's worth some money and then somebody else was able to find it. So that works out perfectly. He literally just messaged me right after I found this. So that's that's pretty funny. Awesome, man. Good, good find for sure. And awesome for watching the videos. Hell yeah. So now it's actually time to look this up because I didn't look it up yet. So these are the only three that have ever been listed. One sold for 25 plus eight shipping, one sold for 20 plus four shipping, and the other sold for 20. So only three of this exact one have ever been listed. All three have sold. So I think I'll throw it up for about $35 and uh, see where it goes from there. Maybe I'll throw it up for 40 or best offer. I think I'll actually do 40 or best offer on this because it's only $4, so why not? So I saw this new package sticking out of the corner, but it's really vintage. It was a St. Mary's automatic electric blanket. It's 15 bucks and I was like, ah, you know what? I'll look it up anyways. Only three have ever been completed. One sold for 55 plus nine shipping. The other sold for 70 with 15 shipping. The other one didn't sell. Uh, so that puts me in a weird predicament. It's only 15, well, it is $15, which is kind of the issue. If it was five bucks, I'd grab it. I don't know if I want to spend 15 and it will take up a lot of space. This is what's listed right now. We have one for a hundred, one for 45. That's the same one that didn't sell. Uh, and the other one for 89. So maybe if I list mine for like, I don't know, 79.99 or best offer. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's kind of heavy and it's kind of big. So depending on where it goes in the country, I mean, it could ship for $9 or it could ship for 20. $25, you know, so that's kind of my predicament right now. What would you guys do? I'm gonna leave it here Just because you know if it only ends up selling for $50 I spend 15 it ships for 20. I'm in the hole, you know $35 plus fees. I only made 10 bucks. So but if it sells for 80, I, I just don't know guys What what would you do on this? I'm gonna leave it. Woo! Why is this tire so low on air? Look at that comparison what is going on? Is this the brand new one I just got? I hope not. We're going to have to find out. But I just ended that, so I'm going to show you guys everything I picked up. Just as a recap, uh, what do we got? What do we got? We got the Barney pan for a dollar, the book, the Harry Potter book for a buck fifty. We got that John Deere jersey for four dollars, this little sprayer for three dollars, and the New York Life game for five bucks. So all in all, not so bad for the last day, honestly. There's Goodwill right there. And uh, yeah, so really not so bad for the last day. Saturday was way worse, obviously. You can tell just by going back and watching the series. I kind of do know what I was trying to prove. I was trying to see if you could still make money every single day, and you can. And it's crazy because there's a lot of times where people will hit up their thrift store and then they'll wait a week for them to restock. And in reality, if you have one close to you, like this is pretty close to me, Somebody's beeping like crazy over there. Um, if if you have one close to you, close enough, might as well just pop in daily because I found things that would equal close to $100 in sales almost every single day with the exception of Saturday. I don't believe that got up that high. But every other day, probably close to $100 plus in sales. Uh, that's obviously not profit once you take into account shipping and everything, but that's a day. And I really didn't have to do much work. I was in there for about 35 minutes and it's it's really not that big of a deal to come up here, you know, make an awesome video and do all this cool stuff. So I highly recommend giving it a shot, maybe just going a few days in a row to your local Goodwill and you'll be surprised how often things turn over. Now there were sections that I noticed things didn't turn over as fast. So inside of that glass case, I forgot the Game Boy. I'm gonna go back and get the Game Boy. I would actually make $14 after fees on that Game Boy. I'm gonna go grab that right now. 
So I got the Game Boy. It's in pretty rough shape. It's in rougher shape than it looks on camera. You could see all that gunk up there underneath the triggers down in the bottom here it's got a lot of gunk but the battery compartment's not looking horrible there's a little bit of rust but i mean it's in pretty decent shape ten dollars it's going for about 35 right now after fees that's 14 so i or after fees it's 24 so i'll make about 14 now with christmas coming up i think i'm going to price a little bit higher once i clean it all up and maybe instead of me getting ten dollars after fees i'll get closer to 15 to 20 so that would be awesome so if you guys did like the whole video series, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions or any comments about those things I showed you in there. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.